Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and today we're going to go into the changes for the new layout editor for fall 2019. If you want your artist pad to look like this on the side, you're going to want to have docking and medium selected. If you choose large or small here, it'll display a different one. So on this version right here, you have the medium one displaying, here's the large, and here's the small. And again, those are displayed based off of what you have selected right here. If you're opening an artist pad or you're opening one of the Tablet Pro modes and you don't see what you've been working with or the uh, layout that you're trying to edit, there's a couple things that could be going on. The first thing is if you open the layout editor from the start menu, it's going to open a blank one. So you're going to see down here, if you go to medium, that this is the default artist pad. And this is not what we want to edit. So you can do a couple different things. Right clicking on the mouse icon, choosing layout and edit is going to bring you to the one that you're used to seeing. Click big preview will show you the docked version, which is the one that we're working on right here. And a quick tip here, if you're working on different changes, you save something in the uh, layout editor uh, resets itself back to float mode. In order to keep that from happening, you can just pull this directly away from the window. That way it doesn't refresh every time this docked panel refreshes. And you can keep editing this without jumping back down into the menu over here. So what's new in the fall 2019 layout editor? Uh, there's quite a few things, and we've added quite a bit this year. A lot of them have to do with the aesthetics of the artist pad, which I think is, is quite important. So if you're looking at the artist pad here and you're wanting to change the button color, you click on the button and then down here, background color, you can choose from different colors here as well as any color that, that has a hex code. So uh, basically everything. Um, text color is the same thing. We've added full support for the newest version of Font Awesome. Uh, in order to get these icons to work, I have Font Awesome Pro selected inside of the desktop program. So you can see Font, and I have Font Awesome 5 Pro selected. And what this is going to do uh, is this is going to change some of these, like this one right here, is actually the word highlighter. It's a word highlighter, but because I have Font Awesome 5 Pro selected over here, it's going to add that um, highlighter icon in there for me. Uh, if you're new to Tablet Pro and you haven't purchased yet, you can purchase right here. In order to activate that, you're going to click here, and this will say Purchase or About, and then you choose uh, right here, Activate. Uh, you click on here, and then you choose Activate by Store App. Uh, those purchases go to funding future development. That's something that we appreciate greatly. So thank you for doing that. And now, um, before, when you clicked on the icon here, it would give you a single panel of small icons. We now have this large panel. You can see there's quite a few choices of different icons you can pick, uh, which I personally am very excited about. You can have a banjo. Yes. Um, there's horses and unicorns in case you need a unicorn or an alicorn symbol for your workflow. A snowman it's always comes in handy. Uh, anyway, there's a ton of different options and a lot of them that are actually relevant, like the ghost. You know the ghost is relevant. And uh, these are easy to select and choose from. Now looking at that giant list can be a bit daunting so that there is another way to do this. So we're going to use the fontawesome.com icon gallery, and uh, we're going to click on free, and then we're going to go ahead and search for something. Stopwatch. We're going to click on this right here, copy glyph. If you don't see that available, click on this cheat sheet button. So we're going to click on that. It's going to say copied and we're going to go over back to the Tablet Pro Manager. If you're looking at color choices, there's a bunch of different options and ways to do this. You can put in a hex number right here. 
uh, or you can tap on this, this is new, and this will allow you to choose um, any of these colors. Again, you can put in your own colors here, and you can do the same thing with the background colors as well. If you want to use a color that's not in here and not in there, uh, you can go online and look at um, different uh, hex color swatches, uh, or use something like I have uh, this right here, which is just color picker, and that allows you to uh, go over different colors and select them uh, this way, and it'll copy the value into a hex value or, or an HTML color code. Uh, we are working on a color picker for the pen tool, uh, which you'd select from here, uh, color picker, and as you can see here, it's copying that color. It doesn't work over all, um, over all locations, but it does work over a number of them. So you can do that and it'll color, uh, copy the color, and then you can just go in here and um, paste, and it'll paste the color that you just selected. And actually that looks really nice, so we'll leave it. Uh, if you don't have our pen tool, uh, this gives you an option of remapping the side button to uh, other things besides just right click. So the middle one is great for uh, hover events. So if you wanted to do uh, like undo, which is I have, uh, you can just tap right here and it'll undo. And this is a two button pen, not the standard one from Microsoft. Um, I have a video about it. I'll put the link in the description as well. And color picker here, if I wanted this to be alt, then when I'm here, you can see alt is depressed. And this works in ZBrush and Photoshop and a number of different locations. All right, you guys, um, I'll, I will have another video coming out shortly that talks about what all of these functions are, um, not one by one, because that would take a long time, but just the uh, different sets of functions and, and how they work, as well as uh, how the plus one second toggle works and some of the other modifiers that we have on these buttons. So stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.